All right, so in this video, we're gonna show you how to create mortgage protection insurance leads. So go over to your Facebook ads manager, hit create, and we're gonna use engagement because you can see it's good for messenger ads. And that's a fantastic way to get lots of engagement uh, and start conversations with people. So the first thing we're gonna do is name your campaign. Let's go ahead and hit that uh, and name it Mortgage Protection Insurance. Now, because this falls under the special ad category for housing for insurance, we're gonna go ahead and choose that. And let's see, we don't have to worry about that stuff. Let's go ahead and click next. All right, now we're at the ad set level. So let's go ahead and name that Mortgage All right, so the conversion area, we're gonna leave that as messaging apps and we're gonna come down here and choose our Facebook page. There we go. All right, so now down to budget and schedule. I'm gonna suggest we run this at a minimum of $10 a day on a daily budget. And now we're to the audience area. So, you know, you can see here's the first field where you can create custom audiences. I'll be creating a video on how to create custom audiences in the very near future. Um, but if you don't have a custom audience already created, no worries. Just come down here to locations and click people living in this location from the drop down menu. And now we're going to choose where we want the ads to be seen. So I'm just gonna choose the whole state of Alabama, right? So you can see here, I've got 3.2 million to 3.8 million. That's a really nice sized audience. Now, because we're under the special ad category, we cannot do any age or gender uh, refining of our targeting. And right here where it says detailed targeting, now I just got some information right from Meta that said that you can get better results with broad targeting. So um, if you're looking to get 12% lower cost per result on average compared to campaigns that did not use broad targeting, this might be something for you, right? So they're suggesting that we only use location targeting. Now, of course, because we're using that special ad category, we cannot use age or gender. So location targeting is good. Um, let's see, we're gonna avoid using interest-based targeting parameters because we're just gonna rely on the Facebook algorithm to do its work. So they say to set your audience to reach at least 2 million people, which I did, I went uh, statewide, so it's about 2 million. And look at this, here's a small business that got 88% more messages from broad targeting and lowered their cost by 46%. So that's the reasoning behind Maybe we don't want to use any demographics, interests, or behaviors. You know, special ad category is already so limiting, so it really might not make that big of a difference, right? Because, you know, when you come in here and start adding demographic interests and behaviors, you know, we're going to severely limit our audience size. You know, right now it's 3.2 million, and if I come in here and put in something like home improvement or home and garden, um, that's going to cut down my audience by half, right? So 65% of Americans own a home. And that means 65% of Americans are eligible for mortgage protection insurance of some form or another. So by cutting your audience in half, by trying to target homeowners, you might be shooting yourself in the foot. So this is just something that you might wanna be aware of. You could always test it if you like, but I'm gonna trust Facebook on this one and say, Nah, skip it. Go ahead and leave out any kind of uh, detailed targeting. Just target your area and then craft your ad like I'm gonna show you in just a sec. Okay, so now that we've got that information, uh, let's go down here to placements. I'm gonna choose manual placements and uh, I'll show you why in a second, but basically we're gonna wanna get rid of a few of these like stories and reels because of the size, you know, these are nine by 16 images. They're made for vertical, and that's not the way that we've got our video structured. Uh, when we go to make our ad, I'll show you. Um, and we're also gonna get rid of audience network rewarded videos and the um, audience network native. Um, I think everything else is gonna be okay. Um, yeah, that should be okay, because that allows you to have 
a square format, uh, one to one. So yeah, everything else should be good there. Let's go ahead and click next. All right, so here we are in the ad section in our ads manager. We're gonna go ahead and um, name our ad. And we're gonna come down here and add media in the ad creative area. So we're gonna hit add video. Now I've already got it uploaded in here from a cheat sheet that I created uh, in my course. It's at 247rocketmedia.com. This is kind of a shameless plug, right? So uh, here at 247rocketmedia.com, I've, I've got courses that can help you set up uh, next level uh, lead generating machines uh, using a ManyChat. ManyChat is a chatbot software platform. So in my course, I've got a Google Doc all set up and uh, right here you'll see there's some ad copy and a video template that I created in Canva. So all you've got to do is go ahead and click the link and there's the video, right? So uh, let's get rid of this. So uh, I'm just going to use the template. And what it's gonna allow me to do is import that video right into my Canva account. Let's take a look at it. So you can see there's mortgage protection insurance. It protects your family, right? It protects your home and you can get a quote now. So that's just a quick template that I created. Now I'm gonna go ahead and download that. Well, I've already got it downloaded. So let's jump over to Ads Manager. If I was gonna uh, upload that, I just click that button there. But now I'm just gonna highlight this, click next, and you can see the previews right there and click done. And there it is in the previews over here. You can see there's no warning signs, everything looks good. Now let's go back to my cheat sheet and here is my ad copy. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here in the primary text. So there you go, right? Oh, look at this, my, uh, my Grammarly says there's a better way for me to word this. Oh. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and use that, right? So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and update it into my Google Doc in my course so that it's worded the best way that it possibly can be. There we go. Okay, so here we are back in the Ads Manager and the primary text, right? I'm going to go ahead and insert an emoji or two in here. So I'm going to use the oops, little bit of emoji fun. Let's see. I'll go ahead and use that star emoji that I can copy and paste. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here at the beginning of my ad copy, paste it in there. I'll get rid of this one down here at the bottom. Now I'm gonna grab some check marks for like bullet points. So I'll just take and cut that or copy it and paste it in front of my bullet points. There we go. That's a pretty good looking ad, right? So mortgage protection, and we've got some great copy in there. Now the headline, that's kind of our call to action. Get the information now, exclamation mark. And there you can see there's the send message button. So that is pretty much it in our ad. Now we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, in the message template area, we're gonna create a simple little automated chat to help us generate leads. Now this is a really cool thing for generating leads. You're gonna see here, this is like a preview over on this side. So let's go ahead and adjust this welcome message. So as soon as somebody clicks send text or send message, <laughs> the uh, this is what they're gonna see. So this will get you instant engagement in an automated fashion so that um, you'll be able to see everything popping up live on your phone in Messenger. Let's go ahead and put an emoji in here real quick. There we go. Get you the most accurate information. Great. So now this first custom question, let's go ahead and uh, edit this. So I'm gonna just, you know, I don't know what qualifying questions you'd like to ask. I'm just gonna take a guess, right? So how many people are in your household? Now we can go ahead and change these options. These are quick reply buttons. And we're just gonna say, you know, we're gonna give people like four or five options. How many people are in your household? Now notice the button says disqualification. We don't want that. We want everybody to go to the next question regardless of the answer they give us. So we're gonna just put in here, uh, how many people are in your household? Two through six or more than six. Um, and every answer they give us, we'll send them to the next question. Great. 
Okay, so we cannot ask for people's address or whatever when we're using this type of a lead. So we're gonna get rid of that and we're going to add a question. So let's go ahead and add question, custom question. And the next question is gonna be, you know, roughly, what do you owe on your house? So let's go ahead and add some options. We'll just go ahead and add a couple of value options in here so that you're getting a good idea of what kind of uh, value uh, their home is. Now, when you reach out to this person, you're already gonna have some information so you can verify the information. You can use this as like a template to start your conversation and um, just get you know more dialed in on exactly how to create that quote you know by getting the information that you really want these are just micro commitments that you're getting from the prospect to fill out this form these few questions to gauge how serious they are right it's really easy to go ahead and use a lead ad where people can just simply click on their email and phone number but it's another thing to get these micro commitments and get them to actually um, ask these questions now these buttons are completely changeable you can have that be you know depending upon your market you can start at a half a million you can start at a million whatever it is right so you know these are just suggestions so we're going to add another custom question and let's go ahead and ask So now we're gonna go ahead and add options. Let's just keep the, this one simple, yes or no. Okay, let's add another question here. Now, they've already got the email and the phone number already set up for you, so we just add a question, email, add a question, phone number. You can see on the right-hand side there what this is gonna look like. It's a really cool, quick little automated chat bot deal. Now, of course, there's no automations in here beyond that. Um, now, the next thing, is the completion completion message right so when they're done what do we want to say you can use that personalization right there let's change this we'll add it after the word okay there's my personalization all right there we go oh let's get Let's go ahead and get rid of that space right there. There's the preview. Okay, Tim, thank you. Um, let's go ahead and move our cursor. No, okay. So the privacy policy. So you, you have to have a privacy policy and you can get this from your company's website or your website. So I'm just gonna go over to 24 seven Rocket Media, click the home button and come down here to my privacy policy and take this URL. That's what they're looking for. They're just looking for your company's privacy policy. So go ahead and paste that in there. Now, before we hit save and finish, we're gonna to wanna to come over here to the advanced tab. Now you can name the template so you can save it. That way you can use it for future ad campaigns. Maybe I wanna go ahead and put the date in there. Just so I know when I created this template. Now there's a confirmation to pause questions here. So we're just gonna put something in there like this. Now the reminder, if somebody drops off for more than five minutes, we can go ahead and use a personalization saying something like this. All right, so there we go. Uh, now we've got a confirmation to pause. We've got a reminder. You can uh, see that information right here. That's pretty much it. So now we can hit save and finish. And just so you know, uh, after you've uh, saved your template, if you wanna make changes, you've gotta make a duplicate. But, but that's okay, because you can see the duplicate button right there. So we've got everything all done. So now the only thing left to do is go ahead and hit publish. And of course, this will take, you know, anywhere from a couple hours to 24 hours for them to approve. It's got to go through a process. 
So um, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and back out of here. You can see it's in processing right there. So we're gonna hit this X right here. And now we are going to go to the campaigns tab and the ad set tab, everything is in there. The ads tab, you can see it says processing right there. All right, everything looks good. It'll take a few hours to complete. So that pretty much wraps it up. We are done. Now you've got a mortgage protection insurance ad with some simple automations all set up so that everyone gets engaged instantly.